Hello, welcome to the WOW YouTube channel. My name is David and I'm your host today. We're at the Patravadi School here again and we're talking with Krulek, who is the founder. Uh, she also has a, a history of involvement in the theatre and arts industry and uh, for a long, long time. Um, this is the WOW Huahin channel. Krulek, I'd like to ask about your early involvement in theatre and the arts. How did that interest develop when you were many, many years ago? I think it's, a, it's the environment uh, influence because mm -hmm. when I was young, I lived uh, on the Tapaya River in Bangkok opposite yes. the Grand Palace. And um, uh, it, it's quite near the National Theatre. So my family took me all the time to the National Theatre to see Thai classical performances. Every year, my family took me here to Ho Hin and left me here with my nanny for the whole month, you know, uh, since I was two years. So every year I go to uh, Ho Hin Temple. Uh, every, almost every night, because Ho Hin Temple, uh, they have Rike. Rike is like a Thai folk musical play mm, okay. and uh, because there's nothing to do at that time so every night I watch Li Ke and it was kind of my my dream to be singing dancing and acting on stage so um, in my high school too you know in my high school uh, they, they, they teach a lot of Thai culture, dancing, Thai music, mm -hmm. singing, Thai classical music so I was trained well in high school. Do you remember your first public appearance? Um, well, in school I always did that, you know, performances every year for the school activities. And then I went to England uh, at the age of 12. And the school I went to in England was the same. They have a lot of performances, uh, elocution, drama, you know, so on. Mm -hmm. But um, the most important thing that uh, gave me the inspiration of I want to do this when I grow up was was the first ballet that I saw in Thailand produced by King Pumipon, our ex-king Rama the Ninth. He combined Thai classical dance with ballet and he invited Pia Baumeng to design the costume. So it had um, Thai elements and the tutu and the ballet and it was so beautiful and to me it's like oh can you do that can you mix east and west can you mix everything together <laughs> you know like that and um, that was my first inspiration that i'm going to be doing this how did that develop into a career then well because of my early training in high school in thailand and also in uh, in england um, after high school in England, my mother sent me to America to study business administration because our family, uh, we do Japaya uh, Express boat, you know, on the river, yes. uh, from for for from the beginning, you know, from my grandmother, uh, and she wanted me to be a businesswoman. I did, I did go to business administration classes for a while, for a semester, and I, 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 I didn't go. But the theatre was calling me. <laughs> I didn't go, and, but I always went to the activities of the university. So my, my advisor said, why don't you go to take drama or dance or whatever you like? I said, no, I can't do that, because in Thailand, at that time, you know, this kind of profession is not a an honorable profession. Okay. So, but um, finally I realized, well, why not? You know, why, why don't I be daring and do whatever my heart feels? Yes. Uh, so I, 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 luckily my mother was very broad-minded. She said, okay, go. So I went to a, a Pasadena Playhouse in, in Los Angeles, in okay. Pasadena. And, um, and then after that, I said, oh, maybe I wouldn't make it because Thai movie industry is not, um, 
you know, it's honorable and maybe my parents won't let me do it. So I took fashion design as well as, uh, okay. as acting. Uh, so at least I have something to do <laughs> that I like. And I came back the first day I got a job as a uh, fashion um, a model. I also took modeling. Uh, I, I got a job as a model and then uh, I started my boutique in Siam Square. Okay. And uh, it was a kind of very early stage of ready to, ready to wear clothing. At that time, you go to tailors to make your clothes, but I make a boutique for ready to wear. And a lot of young people, they like it because they see it and it's much, much cheaper than, than to have it made. Uh, so it was quite successful. And I did that for a while and have a lot of customers. And one of them was a producer on television. And she knew that I took acting. And so she asked me if I want to participate in her, her play. And at that time, the, the play on television were uh, live, okay. you know, not taped. Uh, and I was performing for a while, and somebody called me on the phone, you know, after the performance on television, Who, where can I find you? And um, so next day, the director came and he gave me a script and uh, he asked me if I would like to be in his movie. And um, uh, I won the Oscar, the award from that movie, wow. my first one. What was that movie? <laughs> what was the name of that movie? Let's, look at yes, my book. let's have a look. Yeah, this is, this is the one. This is a movie from my book. It's, it, 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 in English, it says, no heaven for you. It's a very dramatic okay. uh, film. But I was only 23 at that time. But I always perform as characters, you know, on TV. Okay. So this, this role, I have to perform a 45 years old woman very cold, you know, I live in the, in the forest. Mm, there's a supernatural I'm, element to this, by the sounds of things, to this movie script. You know, I, I love being some somebody else, not myself. You know? <laughs> so I did, I did it, and uh, people believed that it was a kind of a, a middle-aged woman uh, because of the makeup and so on. I, I did my own clothing, I did my own makeup and hair styling because I was trained for that. So uh, that's how I started. So this was, so this movie was very successful. You said that there was an award, there were awards associated yes, with yes. this? Yes, In Thailand we have, a, we have an award. Uh, it's called uh, the Golden Doll. It's a similar to the Oscar yes, in Hollywood. Yes. Yeah, and at that time, I was the last one who received the Oscar from the king. Oh, the okay. King Rambo the Ninth, wow. you know, from his hand. Uh, and then after that, n n no more. Well, that's very hard <laughs> to talk about. <laughs> this is the Wow Hua Hin channel. I'm aware that you established your own theatre in Bangkok as well. Can you tell me how that began, developed? Um, well, I was trained in a theatre, so after 13 movies, and I thought, uh, it's enough. So I went to television, producing, directing for Television, cha television Channel 3. And um, after four or five years, I got married to a Canadian ambassador, and he okay. took me away from this country, and the first posting was New York. You know, I thought I'll quit. I want to be a housewife, an ambassador's wife, you know. <laughs> and, uh, but every night, you know, almost every night, we, ha we were invited to see shows, performances, opera, uh, for free, <laughs> too. Mm -hmm. And we met a lot of directors and really great artists in New York. And um, one of them was, uh, was a choreographer for Ain't Misbehaving, okay. uh, the musical play, and he was director for Lena Horn on Broadway. Mm -hmm. And we just happened to meet because, and he, we, we had very good conversation because he came to Thailand. He took Thai classical dance, and he loved it, and, and I am, I was a Thai classical dancer. So we danced together in many events in, 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 in New York, you know. So he said, like, I, I will teach you how to do a one-woman show, like Lena Horne on Broadway, uh, 
a musical. And I said, oh, boy, you know, this is quite a great opportunity. So I worked with him for three months every day, nine to five, nine to five. I did the first um, concert in Thailand with light and sound and wireless microphone. Mm -hmm. At that time, there was no wireless. And it just, it's a song and dance and performance, one hour nonstop. I think there was a picture yeah, or two. There was Perhaps a picture. we can have a look at okay. of those times. Yeah. yeah, this is a picture I took in New York. He taught me. He, he did my hairstyle. He kind of designed my hairstyle and rehearsed in New York. And um, this is the performance. At that time, there were no dancers in, in Thailand, you know, so we have to import the two dancers from New York. Okay. And it was a Thai style movement with jazz dance. And also there were many songs, you know, that um, um, Thai songs and Broadway songs mm -hmm. uh, that we did. And a Western song by Pointer Sister called Slow Hand. Oh, yes, yeah. I know. And so I sang slow hand and I danced with her in the Thai classical okay. manners with this kind of costume. Oh. And it was a big s surprise to my people. And um, it was the first time that there's a, there's a thing like this in Thailand. And after this, um, a lot of people who were kind of backstage, people selling programs, mm -hmm. young people, uh, they, they were they, they, they love it, so I taught some of them. And the Grammy rec recording uh, music started behind the stage okay. of my concert. So, yeah. so your th theatre in Bangkok was presenting this sort of it, performance? After this, I, after this, you know, I, I thought I, I should teach more people to do this kind of thing. So I opened a dance company with a little theater and kind of outdoor theater. And at first it was a small theater. Um, you know, this is a kind of thing that, uh, this is a very famous uh, pop music guy. And then he was kind of my backstage at that point. Oh, wow. you know? okay. I used my, the front of my office and the office door and the trees around it in the parking lot make a theater. Mm -hmm. And it was a musical uh, based on Thai literature. Uh, and also there's English translation. So lots of people came because they understood the play. Okay. And uh, it was quite popular. So I have to expand the theater and make it larger. So the theater has roof, but still open air. Okay. Because I love the open air because I, you know, I'm, I'm very careful about breathing, about, about air, even before COVID. 19 came, you know, that's why we are quite safe here. Uh, every, every place, even the house here, I open the, the window, the door, so the, the okay. nice air comes in, okay. as well as the air condition. Uh, in, in Bangkok, I have a school for acting, dancing, but here I don't want to train just actors, dancers. I want to, 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 to give the knowledge of the art to everyone, mm. into any profession because they should have creative thinking, they should have di disciplines, they should have a, a knowledge of the art, whatever they're going to do. This is the Wow Hua Hin channel. So let's talk about what we have here at the Petrovedi School. What's available to students and people who come here? Well, this is a boarding school as well as day school. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of Hohin people as well as people from all over Thailand. Um, it's, it's not a big school. I don't want too many students because uh, I, it's, it's not easy to find good teachers in Hohin, you know, mm -hmm. who come and work like uh, like 12 hours a day because we work hard. You're we, very demanding about <laughs> the kinds of things. We work with, with the kids from 8 eight o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. uh, until 4.30 in the afternoon. But then after dinner, we have clubs, we have activities. We train them whatever they like to be, like music, coding, computer, uh, you know, sh camera shooting, everything um, uh, to, to, to push them into what 
area that they like so they can continue to mm. universities. So creativity is what yes. you're trying to instill? Yes. Or yeah, but as well as in the daytime we learn mm -hmm. the eight subjects that uh, is a Thai curriculum. Mm -hmm. But we have a lot, funny that we have a lot of foreigners here. English, totally English, you know, and other nationalities who want to be in Thai school because we're not a, a normal Thai school. We are mm -hmm. very creative Thai school. So they learn uh, some subjects online with the schools in America and they, they, they learn whatever they like here mm -hmm. in, in, in my school, uh, especially the arts, the culture. Mm -hmm. So it, it combines well and the Thai students speak English to the uh, the foreign students and the foreign students learn Thai <coughs> with, the, with the Thai mm. kids. So it's a kind of a, a very natural international school without having to be an international yeah. school. There's also the theatre itself is a major presence yes. on this property. Yes. Can you describe what happens in that theatre or what sort of productions? Well, um, we every year we make productions uh, on, based on Thai literature with English translation. We speak English and Thai at the same time. So foreigners love to come, you know, and we use the students with the professional people, really top, top professional theater people. Luckily, they were my students when they were young. You know, now they are really famous. So we work together. So the kids learn with the real top professional uh, and the our musicals are really successful yeah, every year we 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 make like um, this one is uh, is prayer which is a sister of cherry oh, you know okay. we did yes. rocking drama we we do a lot of Thai literature in more contemporary ways um, and the kids learn lighting design uh, clothing design backstage acting music etc. Um, we teach um, not just a theater, we teach discipline, we teach English, we teach um, um, a craftsmanship, you know, we even teach video shooting, everything the kids work with the real professional mm. people that come to work with the theater. Well, one of the perhaps unusual things of, of the Patravadi um, school is your skateboarding <laughs> facility. That, yeah, that was that was one of our productions. I I work with the street people, uh, drug addicts and people in jail, young uh -huh. people. Uh, that was my my part time kind of thing. Um, and I asked them, "What do you like? What do you like to play?" And they said, "Skateboard." So I said, "Fine." You know. Uh, so I bought them some skateboard, and finally I met. A, a small skate ring in the in their kind of slum home, uh, and it works because they don't they don't have time to, to go and take drugs they, because they play skate, mm. and they send teachers to make them really become good. Yes, well, I mean, and it's yeah. a very professional. So that's why I make a play here. So they come here yeah. and they have a real professional skate place. And after the play, because of the COVID-19, you know, after the play, we're supposed to travel all around Thailand with these guys. Uh, but uh, we couldn't. So some people ask, what well, can I play here? I say, fine, come in. You know, it's an empty place. Mm. Um, so the people have been coming. So I opened it for free since then. Excellent. <laughs> Do you have, what, what sort of plans are there for the future of Petrovidi School? Oh, well, the theatre is still, we still work with kids in the theatre, but mm -hmm. um, we, we think that uh, COVID is still here. That's why uh, last year during the COVID lockdown, we work on, on television production. So the kids, uh, because we are boarding uh, school so the kids learn how to do productions on television mm -hmm. but i said um i don't want to go to television station because there's no freedom let's do it online it's starting tonight yeah the online uh, production is really great production because some of, a lot of my students they they, they be, become very successful and they came to help yeah, if they someone came to wanted teach. to look at this online production how would they find that as 
it, it's in Patravati channel, it's on Facebook okay. page, but it's in, it's in Thai, you of know, course. and, and um, but anyway, uh, you will enjoy, it's quite, it's quite a good production, mm. and uh, it, it's talking about um, how to solve problems, you know, it's more like talking mm. like this, um, so people uh, learn or exchange ideas about, um, about topics, that's in the social now, you know, young young people, uh, old people, how we live together. Is there something different or important about Hyo Hin that allows the development of theatre, the arts and the sort of education that you're describing? What do you think is special about Hyo Hin? I grew up here. Hyo Hin was a land of culture. I see, I, I see a lot of cultural things, music, so on, in Hua Hin, you know, from folk to jazz band. Since I was young, that's, that's how I grew up. And the king was here. Uh, and King Rama the Sixth, he, was, uh, he has his palace in Cha'am. He has his theater there, there, and they were performing. So around this area, it's a cultural place. So is there a future for that development? In yes, here? I want to make it uh, uh, still remain a cultural place. It's modern, but still, you know, uh, for young people uh, who come here visiting, it's something uh, eye-opening, you know, something fun, not just, not just uh, lying on the beach. There are other things. And here is a hub of education. People can come and learn drumming, Thai music, Thai language. Be open for anybody. Mm. Yes. Well, thank you, Krulek, for your time and your enthusiasm. Okay. Is there anything you'd like to add just in conclusion from what we've been discussing? Well, this place um, is my donation to, to the to the community. Uh, I'm working for the King Rama the Ninth, you know, to, to, um, to, to pay back whatever I have, you know, benefit uh, in my life, back to the land. So this become a hub of education. Uh, people can come and learn things, you know, people outside, they don't have to be students here, and learn many things. And we connecting with the artists outside, you know, we send people, we make introduction to people, to artists in Hui Hin. Uh, so that um, the whole place, not just here, become a hub of education for the art. Thank you very much for that. Thanks for watching the Wow Hui Hin channel. Do leave your comments or questions below and we'll get back to you. The Wow Hua Hin channel is produced by Surf 102.5 and Royal Coast Review in association with The Phoenix Group.